Hi, I'm Jack Ballou. This is the third in my prehab series. You'll hear me talking a lot about corrective exercises. What are those? Those are the equivalent of, in human athletics, we would call them form drills or physical therapy maneuvers designed to put the body in correct alignment so that that body is capable of more comfortable movement and it's able to perform longer, more powerfully, and recover better. And a lot of riders, myself included, when we learned how to ride and train horses, this wasn't part of what we learned how to do because we didn't know enough about it back then, but now we do. If you put the horse's body in an optimal alignment prior to your riding session, you're firing up the motor pathways that help that horse move more correctly with less resistance and less asymmetry. Corrective exercises, uh, they come in all forms. I've written a whole book on it. They can be as simple as when you first get on your horse, walking them over ground poles. I'll cover how to space those ground poles in an upcoming video. But walking the horse in a nice marching forward rhythm, back and forth, 20 times across the poles is a good rule of thumb. What this does is stimulate the horse's cybernetic muscles. Those are the ones alongside its spine. And they not only stabilize the spine, but they communicate with the central nervous system about the posture of the spine. In other words, it kind of wakes up that area to create good movement. A lot of people know that ground poles are a good thing. Maybe they do them sporadically. I'm going to encourage you to be a lot more consistent with them. Uh, walking Corazon back and forth across these poles as Sophia is doing here for us. It's going to be effective if you do it three days a week at minimum. It's not something you're going to overdo, um, but you're only going to help the horse if you're consistent with it and not sporadic. So thanks for tuning in in the third of our prehab series, and we'll see you in a future video.